Here we are with another video of Persona Royal uh, for PS5. Um, when we last left off, we were about to do something with. Uh, no, it's not. His name's not Maharaji. It's Madarame. Uh, I have four text messages. I can go to the palace. I can hang out with uh, Ryuji. Seems Ryuji hasn't gone home yet. Want to hang out with him for a bit? Yeah, I'll decide later. Um, Panther, or On, is asking me if I want to go to the palace. Um, nah, there... I don't know what'll happen if I beat... Um, I don't know what happen what'll happen if I beat the palace early. Um, what do you do? He, when Joker's if inflicted with an ailment, he may recover immediately. And um, my next one, I get a have the something about charge and concentrate. I do not mm. have enough time to build a relationship with all of these people and level up all my stats. It's a little weird. I've been getting a lot of students coming in ever since I arrived here. To be honest, it's been kind of a relief. The whole mess with Kamishida was the reason I was called here, after all. They warned me a lot of students had been impacted. I knew there would be a lot of free-floating anxiety. But when I actually got to talk to everyone, I was pleasantly surprised. Most of the things on everyone's minds were college entrance exams, relationship problems, in other words, typical worries for high school students. Some did open up about deeper issues, but not the majority. Some students were still struggling with the scars from the incident, yeah, but at the very least, I'm glad the ones who came to me have taken some steps toward recovery. Thanks to you, probably. Well, I can only hope so. I didn't... I don't think I've done much, but if I've helped even one person, then that makes it all worth it. I know I'm not the most reliable guy, but remember, you can always talk to me too if something's bothering you. I'm the counselor here, you know. If nothing else, I'm good at listening. Let's Having see. said that, it's a little awkward that I have to ask for your help, but... You remember how I asked you to help me with my research? Yeah, for our deal. I said you'd be helping with my research, but don't worry, it won't be anything too difficult or intensive. I just need you to listen to what I have to say and work through some questions with me. So... But, let's see, maybe I should start at the beginning. I can tell you a little about what this research is for. What I'm studying now is pain felt in the mind, or, perhaps more fancifully, in the heart. Some specific examples include the pain of someone saying hurtful things to you, or being separated from those you love. Maybe this would be clearer pain, defined by abstracts, like trauma or stress. Bodily, physical pain can be thought of as something necessary, an autonomic response to injury, illness, whatever. Still. But what about pains felt within one's heart? That pain isn't born from any tangible problem in our bodies, right? Something strange and immaterial. Guess it shows, goes to show there are still a lot of mysteries in our own hearts and minds. You know, I... And I, well, I want to learn more about those internal psychological pains. Now, this is my question to you. When do you truly feel pain in your heart, 115-kun? Uh, when I lie. Oh, that's not what he wanted. He didn't get any blue musical notes above his head. That's true. The twinge of guilt is a good example of internal pain. It can be rough. It doesn't feel good to struggle with pain in your heart. For example... But with that in mind, how about the pain of a broken heart, then? After all, that kind of pain is only born because we fall in love, right? Uh, are you going through a divorce, bro? Do you have any thoughts on this kind of pain, 115-kun? It's a seed for new loves. Dang. Yes! He liked it. <laughs> I never took you for a poet. But it's a wonderful sentiment, a very positive way of looking at it. Internal emotional pain can be difficult to deal with, 
though some say it's always coupled with other feelings. And I agree, of course. I think that's a fair assessment. Though, personally speaking, I think if pain can be avoided, it should be. Maybe it shouldn't exist at all. <laughs> Wounds of the heart are much harder to de detect, and in a way, they are far more complex than physical injuries. That's why I'm doing this research, to save people who are suffering from internal pain they keep holding on to. You helped me realize that purpose again. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Right. Nice. <coughs> Thanks to you, I think I'll be able to better articulate my thoughts today. I can sense Maduki's gratitude toward me. There we go. Now I got the new power. Chance to receive the effects of charge and concentrate at the start of battle. So I think this is something I would have had normally have had to manually set up like a stat buff, but I might just get those buffs All right. automatically. And I'll get more experience from uh, fusing my counselor persona, counselor confidant, no. Oh? Huh? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? <gasps> oh, your mental training. Uh, uh, no, I didn't forget about our promise, of course. I'll teach you tricks for mental discipline, and you help me with my research, just like we decided, right? Now then, how about something like this today? Thanks to Maduki's mental training, my mind feels stronger. All right. I need that. Max SP is so important. My max SP increased by five from talking to this guy. I'm gonna hang out with him all the time. Oh, and here. Never a bad time for a snack, right? Uh, well, see you. I don't know. If we think hard enough about it, I'm sure we can figure out a bad time for a snack. Oh, okay. Now we're ready to wrap things up. If you ever do laundry, don't forget to put it in the... In the dryer. Okay, otherwise it gets worse. Oh, this is Maruki. Do you have time to talk right now? I'm taking a breather, just finished my last counseling session for the day, and I thought I'd thank you once again for your help earlier. Good work over there. There we go, yep. Thanks. A lot of students came by to talk today. Hopefully they got something out of it, but to be honest, it's pretty tough juggling this job and my research at the same time. Thanks again for agreeing to help me out. I might be looking to you for help more frequently from now on. It'd mean a lot if you could lend a hand. Yeah, sure, you want to join my gang? Alright, see you later. You know, as a counselor, what you really need is to, <laughs> to do crime. Ah, you're back. Yo. You can go ahead and use that when you want to study. Studying will cause time to pass, but will improve your knowledge. Bad weather makes it easier to focus, and studying on these days will have a greater effect. Plan accordingly to take advantage of such days. Now listen up. You won't have much time for studying when you go out into the real world, so study now while you can. What do you want to do? What are you going to do today, study? Nope. I'm going to go do laundry, just you like I'm that? doing in real life. You're still under probation. Keep that in mind. Uh, where's the laundry room? Oh, I'm so itchy. Well, first of all, I, where I want to go is, uh, see if I need any new DVDs, and I'll pause while I look for that. Here I am at the rental shop. It's not exactly a shop, because I don't actually, um... What would you like? You know how upset I get when I don't have uh, a DVD to watch? I hope they come out with more, because that would be weird if I only have those couple. Oh, hey, Mishima. Uh, I heard I the pollen is really itchy. bad this year. Are you okay, 115? You'd seriously look like a criminal if you had one of those allergy masks to go along with your cool glasses. So you did the request I asked you to do. Thanks. Oh, yeah. As your strategic image management rep, I thought I should come up with more ways to help you. Do you have time today? This may be a good opportunity to deepen my bond with Mishima. So, what do you do? Are you meeting up with Mishima? Leave it to me. 
Calling himself the Strategic Image Management Rep, he tries to hype up the forum. What is, uh... Allows backup members to earn experience. And... Oh, I need that. Ex increases experience earned from battle? That's awesome! Yep, we're hanging out. How does the diner sound Come on, here? let's get going! Come on! Now That's not the diner. It. Oh, I forgot to mention. But we're meeting up with some fangirls today. Exclamation mark. All thieves are supposed to have some special ladies, right? Uh, great idea. <laughs> there we go. Got the music notes. Yeah, you've got to steal a girl's heart if you want to be called a phantom thief. Let's do this. Actually... Basically, I met some cool girls on the fan site, and we thought it'd be fun to do an in-person meetup. Oh, that reminds me. They think we're just part of the fandom. I made up the whole story about how one day we stumbled onto the fan site, so let's stick to that. Don't spill the beans, okay? I'm worried about this. We're part of the fandom? There we go. That's what the users of the fan site call themselves. It's really caught on as the forum's gotten more popular. Um, Either way, you should be excited about this. Mingling with your loyal supporters is a noble cause indeed. Plus, remember how I said I'd help publicize the Phantom Thieves? This is just the beginning. <sighs> Though, to be honest, I've never actually met someone from online in person. I wonder if I'll be able to do it right. I did lots of research, though. I know all about footing the bill and buying desserts for the girl. Apparently, if things go well, you might even take her home. Hmm? Huh? It's way past our meeting time. They're guys. Um, hello? It's me. It, it's the guy you met on the fan site. About our meetup? Huh? You're still at home? And what about your friend? Oh, yeah. Um, no, we'll be waiting here. Wait, was that a train announcement? I could swear I just heard someone say Shibuya over a loudspeaker. Are you close by? Huh? Oh no, I'm not calling you a liar. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. Maybe next time. So both of them apparently got sick? They're just gonna stay home. <laughs> uh, seemed like they were really into the idea on the forum. Uh, oh well, my bad. I was so busy with all the new forum posts, I didn't have time to really vet them too much. Don't overwork yourself. No, no. Dang. Don't worry, I'm not. This was just a learning experience. All right. But all this aside, I have some really good info ready for you guys. I won't let you down. I'll prove just how useful I can be to the Phantom Thieves. Mishima seems extra motivated. Yes! Increases experience! Alright. And if I remember right, we have tons of moon... guys. It wasn't supposed to turn out like this, though. I bet those girls would never have flaked on me if they knew I'm friends with the real live Phantom Thieves. I don't know why you keep calling me that. <sighs> Being a guardian of justice isn't so easy, huh? You, you literally just came up to me and decided I was a phantom thief one day. Well, let's head home. Again, it's so cool when my controller vibrates when he gets a phone call. I This is like the fifth time I've said that, but it's nice. Oh, 115? Sorry for dragging you out for no reason. People typically use an alias online, so a lot of them don't hold back when they comment. I thought it was going to be a great opportunity to hear their opinions on the Phantom Thieves. It's always better to hear that kind of stuff in person, right? Of course. Right? I knew you'd feel the same way. Man, we could have met some really hot girl- I mean gotten some really valuable information. Alright, I'll get back to modding. Trust me, everything's going to turn out awesome. See ya! Jane. Jane. Hey. <gasps> Heck yeah! Ah, oh, I love when I get a seat on the subway. 
Ah, we were able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? Always read your library book first. Mm -hmm. Although his opponent was a true villain, he still behaved as a perfect gentleman. Yep. Make sure you pay extra close attention to how totally awesome Zoro is. So you finished reading Zoro the Outlaw. Hey. Zoro was not only strong in mind and body, but he also greatly... <coughs> But he also cared greatly for the common people. Hmm. Seems you really understand the qualities that made Zoro so great. It takes so many points to get those to level up. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. See, if it was me, I just would have been on my phone. Did you ever use the study corner in the library? I always end up goofing off at home, and not many people know of it. But isn't the environment kind of a problem? Have you heard the rumors about that transfer student? Oh, him. Yeah, he used to be all anyone ever talked about. But you remember Mr. Kamishita's big apology? The st transfer student's kinda old news now. My recent test scores haven't been so hot. If I don't shape up, up, my allowance could be in danger. So this background song, I don't know how well you can hear it, but I've I've been listening to that like Today all we're month. Going over. It's possible to apply math even to an abstract concept like beauty. The golden ratio used in the Mona Lisa and the Parthenon is a famous example. But a different ratio has been used in Japanese art and architecture since ancient times. I'm sure you've all heard of the silver ratio. Now then, 115, San, take a look at this. The golden ratio is 1 to 1.618, but do you know the silver ratio? Yeah, um, just give me a minute to look it up on my phone. Yeah, I don't have my phone in my desk or anything secretly. It's 1.414. It. Precisely. That's correct. You see, it's closer to a square than the golden ratio, right? One theory says it's because Asians have rounder faces than Westerners, so they prefer a similar shape. The ratio was used in things like ukiyo-e paintings and the pagodas at the Hodyu Hodyuji Temple. One, one you should all be familiar with is B4 sized paper. The, those proportions are the silver ratio. Wow, really? He's so smart! How did he know that? 115 Kuhn seems kind of smart, doesn't he? Nice going! Wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. I got one point for it. I'm still at <laughs> the dumbest level. Oh yeah, I hear that mascots that are seen as cute have faces that are close to this ratio. In other words, if you use this ratio, you can make cute things. I see. It's true that mascots tend to have roundish faces. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? Hey. There's 15 days left. What's the plan for today? This one's super special! It's not even anywhere on the forum yet. Anyway, do you remember that bully Daisuke Takanashi whose heart you changed earlier? Well, it turns out there was someone pulling the strings the whole time. Seems that Takanashi didn't have a choice but to listen to what this guy told him to do. But ordering someone to bully other people is not a good thing to do, isn't it? Not really. No, that's horrible. Right? It's totally unacceptable. This person has to be somewhere in our school, right? You should go take a look around. In the meantime, I'll secretly do a little more research, too. Hmm. If we want to go after this target, we'll need a name. Let's go investigate the school. Uh, how am I supposed to know? I have bully sense. 
excuse me, but my bully says <laughs> is uh, very active around you. Mr. Kamishida's gone, but that doesn't mean your bad reputation just went away. All I've done till now is avoid you, though, so I'll hear you out if you wanted to ask me anything. Not really. Oh, gosh. I don't want to... That new counselor seems to be fairly popular among the students. Of course, not everyone's on board. Some think the school's just trying to mitigate the damage Kamishida did. Bully sense. I don't, I don't know where to find him. I can feel it. Is that for real? <laughs> I really hope he's not in any other rooms or anywhere that's not totally convenient to get to. I have something. Well, I did everything I could. Um, Okay, I took a look around. I didn't... I'm not smart enough to figure out what you want me to do, though. Oh. Earl Green. A blend of Eastern and Western teas. Restores 10 hit points. That is terrible. Makes you want to dance all night. Restores 10 hit points to one ally. One ally. These are terrible. They're not good for your health points. Uh, who's texting me? No, I don't want to go to the palace. How often do I even see Ryuji? Like once every two weeks? Do you remember that target we had in Mementos? The one about the mastermind behind the bullying? If the target is a student of Shujin, then they could be nearby. We should gather some information. Somewhere. Sorry, bro. My bully sense wasn't good enough. So what am I trying to do today? Who am I trying to hang out with? Can I just hang out with my friends, though? Do I only get to hang out with them, like, certain days if they don't go to their... How do I level up the cat? That seems terrible. A follow-up attack if it doesn't down the enemy, but I'm trying to... So many friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we have eight friends. That's pretty good. Le Pape. A mysterious man appeared. Speaking of curry and her, I can make LeBlanc curry, and it can restore SP to all allies. That sounds pretty nice. She seeks revenge on Kamashita. With your goals aligned, you decided to work together. A quarter American who spent time abroad. She stands up to save those like herself and her friend. A fellow Persona user, or Ryuji Sakamoto. A fellow Persona user and the former star of the track team, he resents selfish adults. His former teammates appeared before him, and he just took it as they vented their anger. Let Chariot. He doesn't even have a car. I don't, I don't get it. Justine and Caroline. The Twin Wardens of the Velvet Room. Under their master's orders, they test your skills and help you fuse personas. The Strength Arcana. They think highly of your will to rehabilitate. You must keep completing their tasks. Tai Takemi. The doctor of a clinic in Yongan Jaya who has a bad rep. She cooperates if you help her with her trial tests. Doctor of a desolate clinic. She can help pro provide medicine if you help her with her clinical trials. Yuki Mishima, your classmate who knows your identity. He wants to help with making the world a better place. The Moon Arcana. He tried to organize an offline meeting but was stood up. Oh, each level has different um, descriptions. A counselor recently hired at Shujin Academy. 
he reaches out to students to help ease their burdens. Hakuto Maruki, or the Counselor Arcana, which is a picture of a son. He spoke on other types of pain, such as heartbreak, and revealed the reason for his research. No, he didn't. Master of the Velvet Room observes and aids you in the pretext of rehabilitation towards freedom. That's Igor. He praised your success in conquering the first palace. He's satisfied with your progress. Why is he the fool? Morgana, an amnesiac talking cat who moved in with you after met you met in the metaverse. The Magician Arcana, a mysterious cat who's familiar with the metaverse. Let's try to make curry. I think. I see it. How do I get out? Yes, that's how I do it. Oh. Oh, what? If I go home, I can just. Okay, no, I think I, if I select this, it doesn't mean I have to do anything. No! Ah, you're back. <sighs> hey! Hmm? You're finally interested in coffee brewing? If you'll help, I can teach you. I feel like I can com become closer with Sojiro thanks to the Hierophant Persona Odobas. Yep, let's help him out. What do I get for it? Yeah, I get to make curry. Yep. Yeah. Then you clean up. I'm gonna help finish preparing the curry. Alright then. Alright, that's it for tomorrow's curry. Hey, how's it going? You getting any better at remembering how to handle different bean types? Now then. There are three factors that determine the flavor for a cup of coffee. Grind, heat, and time. First up is the grind. For the siphons we have here, we're aiming for medium fine. Are you listening to me? What grind are you supposed to use? Medium fine. Of course, anything goes. Right, keep up the good work. It doesn't net much profit given the effort it takes, but hey, money is money. I'm not gonna forgive you if you serve our customers bad coffee though. Just remember that. Mm -hmm. uh, who could this be? Yes, hello? <sighs> How'd you get this number? Now, where? Fine. Sorry. Sorry. Something just came up. We can keep going on with our the lesson some other time. Is it a date? Is it trouble? You don't want my help anymore? Uh, I don't know what- it, I think he'll like it better if I ask him if it's a date. If only. Just do the dishes while I'm gone. Oh, and remember to shut off the gas before you close up shop. It's nice having someone around and help at times like this. Turns out you're actually a harder worker than I thought. Keep it up. Yeah, I've worked here like three times. I feel like my bond with Sojiro is gr growing deeper. All right. Your Hierophant Confidant has increased to rank 3. The rest is okay, on you. Okay, I'm off. Don't eat all our food while I'm gone. Hey, you get everything closed up? Sorry about earlier. Had to take care of some business. But don't worry, I'll put you to work. We've got lots of time on our hands. Thank you in advance. Huh? You're awfully obedient today. Well, as long as you help out and do your part, I'll treat you fairly. Well, just make sure you turn off the stove before you head to bed. I don't... I can't manually set up the, uh... Close or open sign. Or turn off the stove manually. I'm just hoping that Joker does it on his own. Well then. That reminds me. The home shopping program's airing today. You want to check out the TV? Okay. 
You could probably make three. Good luck. None of these are really that useful. Well, I guess the lockpicks were kind of sort of running out low on. Yeah. So you want to make three of the lockpick? Yep, let's make it. This is a really creepy hobby. <laughs> it's not yes. going to make me popular. You're definitely getting better. I can tell just by watching yeah. you. Hmm. You're getting tired, right? Let's take a rest. No? Gosh. <laughs> ah, you're back. Well then. Never mind. I don't want to check the home shopping next. Okay, fine. I'll check the home shopping. The Muscle Plus set. Great for a pick-me-up before heading to work. Stronger Lift S, Harder Core S, and two AccuSpeed S. No, that sounds like buffs in a can. I don't want that. Here's the outdoor kit. Master the elements of fire, ice, and electricity to become a camping master. Blowtorch, dry ice, and magneto coil. All together in one set. How great is that? Wow, they're both such great items. And then those are attacks in a can. I don't want those. You won't see this deal ever again. Hey, hey! No, I don't want either of them. I feel like I can become... I don't think my bond with Sojiro will deepen just yet. Nope. Next time then. Now listen up. That's weird. He doesn't want to hang out with anyone unless it deepens their bond. And I don't remember. Is my guts high enough to do things that aren't good for me at the hospital? Um... So since I'm doing laundry in real life, I kind of want to do laundry in the game, but... Okay. Sooty... <sighs> Equipment for cats. <laughs> There's cat clothing that I just happened to find? <laughs> <laughs> How common can that be? Watch these become immediately obsolete. Oh, and there's boots for cats. This thing is shaking a lot. Sucks that this takes like eight hours to wash my clothes and all my focus. What, I can't read a book while I wash my clothes? Why not? Oh, oh it looks like it's done. And <laughs> finished. That, that's such a weird concept that it's worth more to just throw your clothes away than it is to wash them. He has a cat knight's collar and an old angel's cape and a mythical scarf and there's an old ghastly dress that is actually a male-only item. Well, soon I will get to a point where I can, uh... Good timing. I wanted to tell you something. Madurame was talking to a lawyer. I suppose he's serious about suing. I think we should advance our plans. Why don't we go to the palace today? No, we have to prepare first. I have to... True. You never know what will happen in the palace. We should prepare thoroughly. I have to do more laundry. It's good It'll help us. a calm, rational person nearby. I'm counting on you. All right, I forgot he was a party member now. Oh, have you heard? Madarame, the maestro of the art world, 
Artists with that good of an eye are rare in Japan. I wonder if he has synesthesia. Yes, regarding synesthesia, one of many English terms that come from Greek root words. Haven't heard of it? It's a condition where your senses can cross over each other, like seeing music as color. There are all sorts of varieties, though some sense combinations are more common than others. We call people who experience this phenomenon synesthetes. Mr. 115, you were staring off into space, weren't you? Well, your number's up. Like it is every time. The root words of synesthesia are sin and aesthesis. What do they mean? Um... Who wants to know what the root words mean? It's all Greek to me, but I can give it a try. Here, let's think about this. It'll be easier if we put our heads together. Okay, so let's start with sin. I think that's in a lot of other words too, like synergy and synchronicity and synthesis. If we think about what those words have in common, then maybe sin means together. That's it. Sin means together, or a combination of something. An aesthesis. Huh. That's a little like the word aesthetics. I wonder if it means... senses? Yeah, that's it. Sounds like we know the def definitions of the root words. So that means the full word basically means... senses coming together. That's it. Phew, we really gotta stay on our toes in this class. Could use a snack after all that brain power. Let's get a treat after this. This is it. Good. You've been studying. Unfortunately, synesthesia syn 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 is something you have to be born with. You can't learn it. Some of the geniuses over the course of history have had synesthesia. The composer Franz Liszt instructed his orchestra to play the color purple. The poet Arthur Rimbaud was also said to see colors in letters. He's pretty smart. I didn't expect that. He might not be too bad. Nice girl. You're on a roll today. Am I finally level two stupid? Yeah, I'm finally level two stupid. All right. I'm a, from oblivious to learned. Seeing colors in sounds and letters and feeling shapes and flavors and numbers, geniuses and common people see the world differently. Were you able to understand that? I see. Synesthesia, huh? That's fascinating. Although the reason Madarame sees the world differently is because of his distorted desires. Hey! There's 13 days left. What's the plan for today? Just hang out with my friends. Goof off. My research is going smoothly. I think I'm really making progress with my research. All thanks to you, of course. So do you think you could drop by to give me some more insight today? I feel like I can come become closer with Maruki thanks to the counselor persona Kushimitama. I feel like my bond with Maruki will grow stronger. What do I get this time? Yes! Okay. I need to be more mindful. Mindfulness. Chance to restore Joker's SP when it's low. Okay, so hanging out with this guy makes me way more popular with the personas. Thank you. I really do appreciate the help. How about we talk outside today? We can meet up in the courtyard, maybe. See you there. But it's a pollen warning day. <sighs> well, 115-kun. I just found out how scary cats can be, despite their cuteness. What, what are you talking about? So... Oh, it happened on my way to the school this morning. I spotted a kitten that had gotten itself stuck up in a tree. The writer of this scene has never had any experience with cats. They just pulled, <laughs> pulled out a common phrase. Tried rescuing it since I felt bad for it, but I ended up with the clawing of a lifetime for the effort. I had no idea the cat's claws were so sharp. Why would a kitten be outside climbing a tree? And why would it scratch you? I know, right? Talk about a reward. Ah, uh, that's true. But I was able to rescue the kitten, so all's well that ends well. All I really have to do is make sure to put antibiotics on the scratches anyway. Well, well let's move on and talk about a different kind of pain. We discussed this for a bit last time we talked. Actually, the pain felt within one's heart. There are all sorts of ways to identify and diagnose physical injuries and illnesses. But when it comes to pains of the heart, we're working in unknown territory. There's just so much we haven't learned yet. 
Treating trauma sure is difficult when it's invisible. If only we could somehow directly reduce emotional pain in a healthy way, like putting biotics, antibiotics on a scratch. That'd be great. Right? Something like that would be wonderful. Unfortunate as it may be, we all know there's no topical medicine that can properly heal a heartache. Not only that, psychological issues are even more complex. Here, allow me to demonstrate. <gasps> oh! 115 Kun, what was me? My heart is in such pain. It's like I'm being pierced through the chest. Oh I have my. such a torturous burning deep inside me. Are you okay? I, sorry, that was a poor attempt I'm at acting. Please don't look at me like that. But uh, basically, what I'm getting at is uh, our own emotional pain is the only kind we can fully comprehend. That seems obvious, right? But it's absolutely vital to understand person's heart, their pain, cannot be seen. Even if they spent their whole lives expressing it to others, there's no way for them to truly grasp it. It's not like we can directly look at their hearts and remove the root causes of their pain. But for me to do any good in that area, I need to conduct further research into the heart. More specifically, I need to learn how the heart reacts to the world around it. That's the first stepping stone to a breakthrough in the field. Once that's been figured out, we'll not only comprehend psychological pains that were once unknowable, but we'll even be able to perform more effective treatment for those people with wounded hearts. You're so kind. Ha! <laughs> I'm no saint. I just want to do my job well. If we can get rid of people's pain, that'd be for the best, right? I'm no fan of pain myself. Well, uh... On the other hand, people have laughed off my ideas. Just a silly, pointless dream, and I can't say I blame them. But still, you have to take time to listen to what I have to say. And you actually try to understand. Thanks to you, I can tell I'm actually getting somewhere with my theories. How can I phrase it? I guess I could say you're making this hazy, hard-to-grasp idea finally appear before me? You know, you could very well become a counselor yourself someday. Say, would you like to try being my assistant? Of course, I'm on a shoestring budget, so I wouldn't be able to pay you. That sounds fun. Oh. oh, surprisingly eager. Maybe you really will become a skilled counselor in the future. Joking aside, I truly am grateful for your assistance. Thank you, 115-kun. I can sense Maruki's gratitude for me. All right. Oh, I have to get it to level 5 before I get the bonus? Let's put a pin in that for today, shall we? Hope you'll lend me an ear when you've got the time to spare. Now, I know you've been waiting for this, so let's get to the mental training. More SP, please. I hope I get 10 SP this time. All right. No, just five, but that's still pretty good. Oh, and here, never a bad time for a snack, right? Happy pop. Be careful. Okay. All right, be careful on your way home. He has a certain budget set aside for each, uh, 115-kun, do you have a moment? Today got pretty one-sided. I just kept random... I just ended up rambling again. This keeps happening. I should have asked this sooner, but... Is this leaving you with any mental fatigue? Is your schoolwork being affected? Yeah, you're rambling? Um... Uh, yeah, I, there was stuff I did instead of my homework, so yeah. I feel completely fine. Really? Thank goodness. I was worried. Not every guy wants a middle-aged weirdo rambling to them about a bunch of philosophical abstracts. I know it's asking a lot, but it'd be great if we could keep- What? Er, the station? Sorry, I think the tourist needs help. I'd better go. Hold on, uh, Shinjuku station? And- Oh, you've got no money, huh? Ah, you're back. Now, if I remember right, we can't actually bond. Now listen up. Um, I guess I'll talk to the guy I don't really like, the creepy one. Um, just so I can. I don't want to talk to him though. <sighs> you again. I need to ask him about modified model guns. So, 
What are you here for? Uh, I want to talk about the bag. Oh, right, I need better guts. I forgot. That's why. I, I thought it was just because I didn't like them. But... Okay, I'm going to pause because I love going into the velvet room. Okay, so... How tough are these special battles? For level 10. Okay, yeah, I'm level 17. This would be really easy. And it goes all the way up to level 50. Look at that goofy little guy. He loves hanging out with me. There are three different types of rewards you can receive in a challenge battle. Depending on your final score, you can only obtain one each type once. You cannot do a hold up or an all out attack during a challenge battle. However, if you fulfill certain requirements, you will receive bonus points. On the reward screen, use up or down to view the bonus requirements and opponents. Aim for a higher score by utilizing your party members accordingly. So if I use on, I get better. If I use wind, I get better. Um. Okay, let's do it. You starting this battle? Round one. During a challenge battle, you can view your current score, the score needed to obtain a reward, and the score bonus requirements. Even if you lose a challenge battle, the game won't end. If you feel that you can't win, press L2 and select Escape in the order menu. Challenge battle scores are based on damage dealt. Aim for a higher score by dealing massive damage. It's time. Hmm. Okay, so what's your... This one... He's only weak to fire. He's only weak to fire. It's weak to electricity. This one's Your weak to electric. Be careful. This one's weak to ice and wind. Come. So do I have ice, wind, or fire? Yeah. Alagor. Or electric. Uh. Well, yeah, it, it, anyway, it, it'll work. There. Ah! Great move, Joker. Not flat. And then I think I was supposed to uh, do, it. do stuff not with on. He was supposed to get, like, Persona. bonuses. And, uh... Just guard. And then he has a wind attack, and I'm supposed to do some wind attacks. Oh, I see. You will face this enemy now. So if on attacks, I get a bonus. I get I get seven I'm times done. more points than I would have gotten. But if You're mine. I use a wind attack, I'll get tripled. So if On uses a wind attack. So this one attack gets triple the bo the points. Oh no, seven times the points. This is my other self. Curse skills won't work, so be careful. It's only weak to wind, and I can't change into uh Let's go. My cat. Persona! Captain Kid! We're on the ground! Nice Persona! Oh.
resounding victory. Oh, I didn't do it quite right. Could have been better, but I'll throw you a bone. Okay, so let's change my equipment because I just did laundry. So if he wears a uh, this dress, he gets nice stuff. And Yusuke just started out with his dress shirt, so he kind of didn't really have any. And then I'm just doing the recommended equipment for everybody. I did things, uh... No, I'd rather have the mana. Everyone's got their best equipment as far as I can as far as I know. Yeah, so this so I have no idea how to change my party members, but I gave uh, on the breeze ring this time. So that should work out a little bit better. It's time. Um, I'm just gonna Rabbit trap. And I'm gonna baton pass to this one. Up to you. And then, if my theory is right, yep, that that super amps it up. Oh, if I was smarter, I would have. I am thou. It didn't work. Uh oh. Persona! If I was smarter, there was a lot of things I would have done there. different. Next up, come. Go down. Okay, so if I use their uh, their weaknesses, that gives me the technical bonus, so that I can keep doing it. There we go. Heck yeah. This is my other self. And then this time, I won't make the same mistake twice. I checked its resistances, and I can totally do it. Dang! I was so close, I needed 70 more points! I got a new... record, though. I guess I'll just have to... either figure out how to change my party members, or... something. I can sit on the hmm? the chair. I don't need to know any of that. You s no, Done I wonder. Already? What? Dang, that's no. She what? asked me, and I said no. How good? Done already? What? Yes, there no we go. I do want to go back. Mumble, mumble. Ugh, my eyes are so watery. I wonder if the cat will let me exercise ah. today. See, worrying about the money of it made me not do it. 
Uh, I feel like uh, improving my guts, though. Oh, you want to do it? Take the challenge. Yeah. Now I get to be friends with weirdos if I get enough guts to do so. Thank you very much. Oh, um, this is making me so hungry. This is your first time, yeah? Your starting rank will be third mate. Thus, your aim will be the Comet Burger. For real? This is a lot bigger than I was expecting. The burger is as voluminous as a soaring comet burning in the sky. I only have to pay five dollars for this big burger. It will not be overcome easily. But you should, should you conquer this challenge, you will be rewarded with an extravagant prize. Ooh, a prize would be great. Good luck, Carlos. Now then. Well then, it's time to start the 30 minute Big Bang Challenge started. Time to get the 30 minute Big Bang Challenge started. Ready? Go! Looks like there's a whole head of lettuce in here. The burger's already cold. I'm rooting for you. And remember, nobody will think any less of you if you give up partway through. That's the scariest song in the game. I somehow ate the whole thing. You, you did it. Congratulations. Since you managed to extinguish the Comet Burger, I present to you the Second Mate Badge! And to the Burger Baron who defeated this challenge, we present to you our world-famous Big Bang Burger on the house. We hope you enjoy the taste of victory. I only paid five dollars for three burgers and a giant burger? Please come again. I love this restaurant. What, is it gonna we kill me? It. Is it poison? Is it made of cardboard? You are so admirable, taking on such a daunting task with that intense level of courage. Nice. Your pace, your strategy of using well-timed drinks, and just the spectacular way you devoured it. Everything was perfect. Wait, why did my knowledge go up? Why did my charm go up? Why did my proficiency go up? Okay, maybe that, that sort of makes sense. But that was like the most productive eight hours I've ever had in this game. Yes! Ah, we were able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? I forgot to get a new lar library book. Tips from a famous pickup artist. Learn the charm to hook up with someone. Be knowledgeable about internet crimes or boost knowledge. Wait, social thought? Wouldn't that boost my charm? How would I learn this and not get more charming? Whatever. Hmm? The ABCs of picking up ladies. Mm. This picture of the author, that smug grin just irritates me. Hey, hey! Hmm. Oh, I didn't realize how long you've been reading. So how far did you get? Seems like you still have some pages left. You should continue some other time. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. All right, let's begin. First, I have an announcement about an upcoming school event. As part of a city beautification project, the entire school will be participating in a public cleanup campaign. That means we're going to Enos Kashira Park to pick up trash. How much trash is there gonna be? We're gonna all like pick up like two pieces? It would take like four hours? The cleanup will take place next week on the 30th. 
All students are to wear their gym uniforms during the event, so don't forget to dress the part. You guys hear about this cleanup stuff at Inokashira Park? Guess it's the principal's idea. Damage control after Kamashita scandaled up the school's rep. Pretty sure scandal's not a verb. But I get what you mean. Even the counseling stuff seems like a desperate move. You're so committed to thinking he's stupid that you don't trust what he said. They're scrambling. All the girls in our class have been freaking out over this new guy, too. I've been hearing, Maruki's hot, kind, sensitive, Bic basically everyone thinks he's their type. Well, I guess he's pretty popular then. Oh yeah, did you guys go to his counseling yet? He gives you SP, which makes you more popular. Of course I want to go to his counseling. Oh, I forgot. But I don't know. I don't really feel like going. You know what I mean, right? He's literally my best, closest relationship at this point. Uh, he's a good counselor. Whoa, really? You should just go already. If your slacking draws attention to us, we're the ones who will have to pay for it. Fine. It's open. Come on in. Sup? Hey there. Sakamoto kun. Here for a counseling session? Session? Well, it's not like I wanted to or nothing. Ha, huh, sorry you were forced into this, but anyway, come in, come in. <laughs> so, this is pretty awkward. Huh? Oh, why is that? I mean, I don't really go see teachers unless they want to chew me out for doing something wrong. Oh, I'm not a teacher here, if anything. Well, I'm here to be on the student's side. <sighs> oh yeah? So am I supposed to tell you about Kamashita now? Well... Oh, no, no, this isn't some kind of interrogation. You're free to just kick back and talk about whatever you want. Like what? How about it? Hmm, how about... Is there anyone in your class do you like? Uh... It's not exactly easy to talk about either, and it's not like there is somebody. Uh, oh, sorry. uh, sorry, I just meant you're in the middle of your teenage years and all, right? High schoolers are just discovering romance and all, and it's the only time you'll ever have fr no human beings your age. That how it went for you? Not exactly, <laughs> but uh, that's just because I fell in love with my studies first. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm supposed to be hearing you out, but instead I'm just bringing down the room. Oh, how about this instead? What do you do in your free time, Sakamoto kun? On the weekend, after school. Uh... I hang out with my buds, mostly. Though I just started doing that recently. That is a lie. I haven't hung out with this guy in two weeks and I'm his only friend. <laughs> before that, I was just upset all the time. And even before that, I was only all about the track team. Ah. So, is your leg better now? Oh, so you know about that too, huh? Well, yeah, pretty much. So long as I don't strain it or nothing. I see. Quite. You really do enjoy running, don't you? Guess so. I mean, after all that training I did, it makes sense I'd like it. I'd be training constantly, getting sweet times at meets along with everyone else. Eventually I was gonna get my hands on some running scholarships to make it easier on my mom. But all that's in the past now. It's cool though. Got way more important stuff to do now. Like, more important, huh? Like... <laughs> well, no matter what path you might have to take to get there, I hope your track dreams will soon do you some good in the end. E <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I know. And you know what they say, right? If you wish hard enough, your dreams can come true. What the huh? hell? You trying to sell me some kind of line now? Oh, no, this is actually a genuine phenomenon, with a lot of research going into it even now. Look at it this way, Sakamatukun. What do you want to do, m want most out of life right now? Um, uh, I want something to drink, I guess. Oh ho! Huh? Uh, what? I lucked into a coupon for a free can of apple juice at the convenience store this morning. Morning. And now, I'd like for you to have it. Thanks? <laughs> See? Your wish came true! Y yeah. yeah. 
Hey, Dr. Amato, I mean, uh, Doc, anyone ever tell you you're kind of not normal? You think so? Oh, could that be a compliment coming from you? Uh, no? <laughs> oh. This guy's the worst. I thought we were supposed to like hey. Ryuji. There's 12 days left. Uh, wait until the last minute. That's the plan. It's not like it's real homework. Real homework, you gotta do as early as possible. Although, my... I always waited for some kind of inspiration, and that actually didn't ever really work for me. Um, because sometimes I wouldn't would like? feel inspired enough and then never actually do it. Do it even when you're not inspired. Thank oh, you're you. returning Zoro the Outlaw. Thank you for returning you it. Like? Do you need something? Yeah, I'd like to borrow a book. Oh, I kind of need the guts, though. But, all, but this also gives me putt, guts. Here. This one, yeah? Okay. Hmm. Be careful. Pirate legend, eh? Sounds interesting. Hmm. Now, uh, what did I actually feel like doing today? What, uh, what are my stats? No, what if, no, not those stats. I mean... Um... I can't just check? Okay, never mind. Um... I don't think my guts went up all that much, but... <laughs> you again? Come on... <sighs> Look how out of the way this is. It's in, literally in a back alley. And, uh, there's an arcade, you know, the kind of place where I work, but you can't actually play any games in there. I could go to my job. And... Okay, I feel super incentivized to go here. Welcome to Big Bang Burger, open 24 a day because there's no day or night in space. I want to take the challenge. Um... Two thousand? That's twenty dollars. I don't know, like, what increases my odds of being able to do it? Is it random? Thank you very much. This is, as you have moved up to the rank of second mate, this is your next foe. Whoa! Oh, that is twice as big. This is the Gravity Burger. A burger so large that it almost has its own gravitational field. Once again, this will be no easy feat to overcome. But should you conquer this challenge, you'll be rewarded with an extravagant prize. So this one comes with a prize too. Do your best, Carlos. Now then. Well then, it's time to start the 30 minute Big Bang Challenge. Go! <laughs> Looks like the I don't think you have the luxury of enjoying the taste. Don't chew, just swallow. Oh, man. Uh, it didn't work out. You had a ton of energy at the start, though. Guess it'll take a uh, bit more courage to tackle this challenge. Okay, so I need my guts, knowledge, and proficiency to all be at three before I can pull it off. Yep. <laughs> So I have to eat a practice by eating at normal We're restaurants. I'm full from just watching you. Ah, you're back. 
Yeah. Hmm? If you're asking for allowance, the answer is no. Okay, so how do I make the uh, curry now? Aha! Hey, hey! Oh. Have you had any side effects since then? Passed out at all? I'd like to check you out, just in case. I don't have any patience. Could you stop by the clinic? I wish it would just make me fast travel there. Whatever. Watch her not even want to talk to me. The warmer it gets, the stranger people act. Just like that high school teacher. Has there anyone ever studied the correlation between the rise in temperature and a rise in weirdos? At my current level of guts, I should be able to handle that medicine. I should suggest a clinical trial. So, what do you want today? I apologize. I can only do the clinical trials during the day. Come back again when the sun's out. That's dumb. How can I help you? We all have those days where we just go to stores and not ask for anything. And what did I get from going to the bathhouse? Why would it? What do you want to do? Give me more charm. Um. Then how did I, uh... Yeah, I'm just spacing out. I don't know what I... Yeah, I'll go eat another meal. Hmm. Yep, let's go in. This seems like the best deal. I get a guts and a knowledge. Yep. It's good that we managed to find seats, even if it is a bit crowded. Welcome. May I take your order? Oh, I can get kindness or guts. Well, kindness isn't going to help me eat that burger. Got it. I'll be right back with your order. Sure does look good, but yeah, it probably actually tastes good, too. For real? I'm overwhelmed by your guts at how you could eat all that sandwich or whatever. Mm. Looks like you were able to get some studying done, but there's just too much noise. So it looks like I get one point to knowledge and one point to one guts. We meet again. It appears you're lying low lately. What's with the change? She looks so cool with her red it. eyes. It must have been my imagination. Anyway, I wish the culprit would come forward soon. It's absurd to pretend I can do the police's job. I wish she considered my feelings before asking me this. So, uh, I'm gonna... Save and uh, end the video here. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't be a YouTuber. 
It pays an average of $2 an hour. <laughs>